The first games in the seventh generation of the Pokemon video game franchise, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, were made available for the Nintendo 3DS on November 18th, 2016. Nintendo revealed the Nintendo Switch, which is a hybrid console that can be used as a home console or a portable console one month before the games were made available. This prompted rumors about a mainline Pokemon game for the Switch. Around the time Sun and Moon were released, Eurogamer reported on November 18th, 2016 that they had heard from several sources that a game with the working title Pokemon Stars was currently being developed and was scheduled to come out in the latter half of 2017. This suggested that, like previous generations of the Pokemon series, a third installment would be released, though this time on a different console. According to rumors, Pokemon Stars would have been improved with the addition of new Pokemon and a 720p resolution. The Pokemon Company would also launch a campaign called Look at the Stars over the following few months with the release of merchandise with a star theme. Soon after the series, director Junichi Masuda tweeted the phrase Pokemon Stars, which some people took to be a possible preview of the upcoming game. In the middle of 2017, pre-orders for a game called Pokemon Stars were being sold on Amazon UK, which of course sparked speculation. But without a cover image and with the release date listed as January 2030, the listing gave off the impression that it was most likely fake. The Pokemon Company's official website stated that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon would be released on both the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch on June 6, 2017. However, the Switch listing was quickly taken down, indicating that it was most likely an error. As a result of the game's similarities to the rumors, it was thought that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon might have been the Pokemon Stars project. The rumored Pokemon Stars project was never completed, and until the games Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee were released in November 2018, the Switch didn't receive any mainline Pokemon games. Tom Phillips, a Eurogamer writer who previously wrote an article about Pokemon Stars coming to the Switch, explained what transpired with Pokemon Stars. He and Did You Know Gaming's video Lost Nintendo Games presented additional information and theories that may shed light on Pokemon Stars' fate. Sources claim that Nintendo's corporate philosophy was to blame for the game's cancellation. Nintendo had intended to release three games from the biggest IPs after the Wii U's failure. Mario with Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Pokemon with Project Pokemon Stars. The game was apparently intended to be a backup in case the Switch didn't perform well on the market. But plans have changed not only because of this, but also because they were having trouble keeping up with demand. It also appears that they had other 3DS games like Metroid Samus Returns planned to be ported to the Switch as backup plans as well. According to Nintendo, the Switch and 3DS will coexist with one another. But the Switch would eventually replace the 3DS just like the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS. As there have been numerous hoaxes and false rumors in the past from other sources, some fans of course don't believe him. And some have accused Eurogamer of making it up for clicks and clout. Tom Phillips was a journalist who accurately predicted the release of other products before they were officially announced as well, including the SNES Classic, Diablo 3 for the Switch, and other games. He also reported on the design and hardware specifications of the Switch. Another hypothesis put forth by Did You Know Gaming is that someone at Nintendo saw the game playable in HD on the Switch and told someone at Eurogamer about the situation. Along with lacking many features from Generation 6 and Pokemon Sun and Moon for the 3DS, such as numerous features for the bottom screen and a lack of stereoscopic 3D. However, it's also conceivable that it was created merely for testing. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and Pokemon Sword and Shield had begun production when Pokemon Sun and Moon was also almost finished as well. About 50 developers who worked on Pokemon Sun and Moon were contacted by Did You Know Gaming and Tom, but they were prohibited from speaking, most likely because of their own NDA contracts. Although there is a fair amount of information about the game, neither a prototype nor any screenshots have been made public, making it impossible to know for sure whether it actually exists. Even with the Nintendo Giga Leak of 2020, no materials have been exposed, so the game is currently lost and its overall existence is unknown.